studied reflection by plane mirrors. What do you think will happen if a plane mirror is curved outward or inward? To find the answer to this question, we will study the reflection by concave and convex mirror, various distances from the mirrors. We will also study the characteristics of the image formed. Ray diagrams can be used to determine the position and characteristics of the image formed. For this, we need to know the sign conventions for reflection by spherical mirrors, that is, the new Cartesian sign convention and the standard rays used for drawing ray diagrams. The pole of the mirror is considered to be the origin, and all distances are measured from it. The object is always placed on the left of the mirror. That is, light from the object falls on the mirror from the left-hand side. Distances measured upward and perpendicular to the principal axis are considered as positive. Distances measured downward and perpendicular to the principal axis are considered as negative. Distances measured to the right of the origin along the plus x axis, that is, in the direction of the incident ray, are considered as positive. Distances measured to the left of the origin, along the minus x axis, that is, opposite to the incident ray, are considered as negative. These sign conventions are the same for both concave and convex mirrors. Standard rays are the incident rays for which the direction of reflected rays is known. Any two standard rays can be used to draw ray diagrams. The standard rays used for drawing ray diagrams are as follows. An incident ray traveling parallel to the principal axis of a concave mirror will pass through the principal focus after reflection. In the case of a convex mirror, this ray will appear to diverge from the principal focus. An incident ray passing through or directed towards the principal focus emerges parallel to the principal axis after reflection. An incident ray passing through or directed towards the center of curvature is reflected along the same path. ray that is obliquely incident on the principal axis will be reflected at an equal angle but on the opposite side of the principal axis. Light rays from an object at infinity are considered to be parallel. Therefore, the incident rays converge at the principal focus after reflection. The image in this case is formed at the principal focus and is real, inverted and highly diminished in size. When the object is beyond C, the image is formed between F and C. The image is real inverted and diminished in size. In this case, the image is formed at C and is real, inverted and of the same size as the object.
In this case, the image is formed beyond C. and is real, inverted, and magnified, that is, larger than the object. In this case, the reflected rays are parallel and meet at infinity. The image is formed at infinity and is real, inverted, and highly magnified. When the object is placed between F and P, the image is formed behind the mirror. And is virtual, erect, and magnified. Thus, the image formed by a concave mirror is always real and inverted. Except when the object is between F and P, in which case the image is virtual and erect. A concave mirror converges or diverges light depending on the position of the object. The floating pig toy has a toy pig floating above a ball. When people try to pick it up, they cannot touch it. That's because the pig is actually an illusion. The toy consists of two concave mirrors facing each other with a hole in the top mirror. When a small plastic pig is placed at the center of the bottom mirror, a real 3D image of the object appears above the hole. It's only when people try to touch the pig that they realize that it's an illusion. When the object is at infinity, the parallel rays from the object converge at the principal focus. Thus, the image is formed at F and is virtual, erect, and highly diminished. When the object is at a finite distance from the mirror, the image is formed behind the mirror, that is, between P and F. And is virtual, erect, and diminished. Thus, the image formed by a convex mirror is always virtual, erect, and diminished, and is formed between F and P, irrespective of the position of the object. A convex mirror always diverges light. and size of the image can also be computed numerically using the mirror formula and magnification respectively. The mirror formula gives the relation between the object distance, image distance and the focal length of a mirror. It is given as 1 by B plus 1 by U equals 1 by F. Magnification is defined as the ratio of image height to object height. It is also expressed as M equals minus V by U. For a concave mirror, U, F and R are always negative and V is positive.